This is it. The excitement. It has landed. Yay. All to quest. And then here to help me Sorry. unbox it is... Olivia. Olivia. Excellent. Thank you very much, sweetheart. Okay, so this is the base game that has arrived today. Um, I'm sure you've seen this a few times now, but this is the back of the box. Various text, all the game contents are listed, a view of what it looks like with the board and the contents. It's interesting I point this out because there's a game I have called Gloomhaven, which I'm sure a number of you guys will be aware of. Um, and I had never even checked the bottom of the box. Um, but I've seen these posted and I'm dead excited to open this up. And uh, I don't what? think Olivia's seen any of this. Have you seen any of this? Have you seen any videos? Yeah, I've seen one. Have you? Okay. Remember you show you. There you go. Okay. So she's seen one video. Okay, so opens up oh, nice and simple. So what have we got inside? Okay, so we have a rule book. A rule book. Okay. Where should we put it? So we'll, we'll pop it back in the lid. Um, so you get a, a on the back of the rule book, really nice turn summary, the act phrase, here is actions, test procedure. Um, and it's not too bad, 27 pages all in, and that includes how to do your campaign rules and play a series of games all together. Um, I have downloaded a PDF copy and read through the rule book, and lots of nice, colourful illustrations on how to set up. And orchestrate the game as well as a story guide and i won't flick through this um but very colorful loving all the artwork that is a map of the whole of the world where this game is based this game is actually based in an area of, the, of this world called aridica there we go spot that sign so we get lots of tokens these are supply tokens which enable you to roll extra dice. These are the enemy's threat tokens, I believe. Uh, these are auto tokens, and these are focus tokens that again enable you to um, convert um, unsuccessful dice into successful dice, which is a really, really good way to mitigate against poor luck in this game, which is really good. You can pop it back in the box there, over there then. There we go. And um, what do we have here? So we have icons, and I believe all these icons here are original tokens for non-player characters that will come across in the game. So there'll be adventures that say you have to go and rescue a certain person or interact and stuff like that. Um, all of these are replaced with the, uh, the um, stretch goal content um, with actual minis, which is fantastic. These are tokens that you use and flip out. Whee! Oh, lost that one. Pick that up in a moment. Um, that indicate whether you've got an action to, to undertake or whether you've spent that action and each turn you get three actions. So that's really cool. And then we get traps. And again, all these traps have been replaced. I love the fact these are all coming out really nice and clean. There's no edges left on those, which is brilliant. Let's pop those there. <clears throat> we have damage tokens. Um, and I can't remember, I can't recall seeing what these tokens are used for. Um, <laughs> yeah, they may well be gold, yeah. Uh, and then we have an extra sheet of bits and bobs just to make up the numbers. These are defence tokens. Um, these are, I think, the cleanse tokens. Search tokens that you put on items. Once you've searched an item, you put a token on it, it becomes harder to search for stuff. Okay, this is the board, so I'm just going to slide this out the way. This, I was loving how this looks. I think this is super colourful. Oh, there we go. Nice and carefully does it. Brilliant. I can't even fit it in. It's so big. Beautiful. Thankfully, I've got a nice big dining room table to pop it onto. But I love the fact that these um, graphics are really simple to use. So in the centre or whereabouts in each room, there's a clear indication as to where you would put um, items and components of the game. And the features, um, so you would put a single square feature here, a double square feature across these two. And then if a feature takes up the whole block uh, and there's one of those in every single room. And then in addition to that, there is a shaded 
area, like a dark corner in each room. And I have seen people commenting that sometimes they find it a bit difficult to work out where these dark corners are. Sometimes I think it's quite obvious, like here, because here's a hole, and this is where enemies would come through uh, and engage with the heroes upon their escapades through Eridica, uh, which is great. Let's pop that aside. Okay, and this is the core content of the box, what everyone is interested in. So you've got some absolutely beautiful dice here. Really loving the look of these. Shine them in the light and you can sometimes see through them. Yes, these are gorgeous. Beautiful. That is rolling away. Nice rounded corners. Nice imprint on the, on the graphics there. What does that mean? So that one is an explosive success. So that one's a success. And that one's an explosive success. So if you roll that one, that counts as a success and you get to roll an additional die. Um, and then that one is, whoops, the shield one is where you get to have the tokens uh, for rerolls. That's that one. Pop those back in there for a moment. Uh, unfortunately, as I was a, a late pledge, um, I didn't get the opportunity to get the mats, and I didn't get the opportunity to buy any extra dice, but uh, I'll look forward to hopefully get those out of the shop. These are the room, the altar dice, um, and you roll these and these indicate different kinds of magic in the air. So you get water and wind and um, earth and fire and all different stuff in there. And then you can use those when you use abilities. So these are dividers. So these are dividers that go in here that can divide up the cards. You see they stand slightly proud of the main cards themselves. Um, <clears throat> and then these uh, the actual cards, we've got equipment cards, um, we've got heroes, which will have various um, skills listed. We have um, threats, uh, like these guys here. Um, we get search cards and alter cards, and there's lots and lots and lots of cards. So you get Box, the Belch Lord, one of the main um, villains of the game. Um, I was a bit concerned about how much text was going on these cards, um, but actually this is really easy to read. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, really happy with these. They've done a great job on these. Yeah. Um, there we go, bury the scurry for Rowan the hero. Uh, and you get some nice rubbery uh, tokens to pop on the bottom of the miniatures to represent the minions and what particular colours they are when they come out. Uh, they're not meant to have one for the big one. A minion card. No, I think they're all sealed up and hidden away at the moment. Okay. Um, I thought that was Thanks a minion. Thanks for watching sure the family meeple. Them be. Hit like um, if you like it much, and subscribe one of those. for more content Sorry. like you know this. Those yeah. Can they go on these? No. These go on the bottom of these dudes here. So let's pop this tray out, and we can have a look at these. So the light blue people that are here. These yeah. are the heroes. These are the good guys. These are the guys that you get to play. So yeah, I've got a case of dropsies today. Not doing very well at all. Um, so I don't know if you can pick that up on there. The, the detail on these is absolutely tremendous and fantastic. Absolutely loving um, the detail on these. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll post a video with a bit more. It's a lot of detail. It is a lot of detail, isn't it? A bit more of the... Um, the graphics on here so these are the four heroes that you get in the core box along with him and i really like him look all his all his backpack and his gubbins look and his rope the small, one. <laughs> the small one exactly and then in addition to your heroes you also get a whole load of scenery that you get to interact with so these are the bits of scenery nice and tight in there so what do you think that is uh, science desk. Yeah, in this game it's an alchemy desk, but yes, exactly that. It's a science desk. So they're doing some science. Uh, and this, what do you think this one is? The shield holders. Shield holders, yeah, it's a weapons rack. That's right. And uh, what about this one? Uh, 
Poisonous mushroom land. Poisonous mushroom land. Hopefully they're not poisonous in the game. Hopefully they're a good thing for us. And this one? Library. A library, a bookcase, isn't it? Or a Excellent. history study. What about that one? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Mirror, mirror on the wall. That's right, a magic mirror. And oh, that one? Treasure chest. Treasure chest. I like that. I like the fact they've got this big lock. The sticks proud and that. What about those? These ones. So who do you, who do you think this is? The old frog. The old frog, yeah. This guy is the big bad guy that you have to fight at the looks end, like the, the big old, villain. It looks like an old wrinkly one. An old wrinkly one, look. And these are yeah, his yeah. minions. Those baby wrinkly ones. Baby wrinkly ones, that's right. So you have to occasionally fight these baby wrinkly ones. And then the way that you know which one you're fighting is when you draw a card and it says you have to fight one of these, you pop one of these on the base, and then the card will say it's a yellow one across here that you're fighting. So it'll show you on here that it's a yellow one you're fighting, and then that's how you know that that's the one. So when that's on the board, which, you put the tokens on the card. Which one are we fighting now? Um, I don't know which one it is. Uh, that's okay. I haven't opened the cards up, so it was just a, a, an indication of, of what was what. So these guys blow stuff at you. That one is one of these ones here with the uh, the knife. Uh, he's got a knife. So that's a fox, a fox raider. That one is. What do you think? They're pretty cool, aren't they? Yep. And look at this guy here. This big one. Oh. <laughs> one of the things that just struck me is that's a pig. It is a pig, that's right. So there's a whole race of people that like pigs. Ew. Ew, indeed. Yeah, they're the bad guys. They're trying to get altars and get the power from altars. And these, this is one of the altars. Stonehenge, yes, it does look a bit like yeah. Stonehenge, doesn't it? Yeah. It's very good. Do you think that look good when it's all painted up? Yeah. yeah. You're good at painting as well. Well, oh, thank you. <laughs> I look forward to painting these. I look tremendous when they're all painted up on the board. And then in addition to that, box, that load of goodies, we have another tray in the core box with lots more minions. And we've already seen some of these pig people. And there's even more pig people. And I've really enjoyed seeing these ones online. They've got bombs. That's right. That they're going to throw at you. Dynamite. Yeah. Like those ones. These guys have got like a big, what have they got? Bat. Like a big bat. That bat. I don't know if they're bent or they're supposed to be like that. It's quite stiff plastic, so I don't think they're bent. I think they are maybe supposed to be like that, but I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Maybe a little bit. Maybe try a bit of hot water on some of those. Which one is this? <clears throat> um, I think these guys are vampires. So these guys and these guys all vampires that you'd have to fight. Oh, I was holding a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> and what about this one? What do you think this one is? Which one? That's the... I think I've seen that in a film. I've seen it in a film. Dragon one. Dragon one. It's a gargoyle. One of the things that just struck me is odd watching a lot of these photographs, and I absolutely love the detail on these, but they do seem quite shiny. Um, so I'll be interested to see how they take to the paint when undercoating them. And the doors. Doors were absolutely amazing. I did buy an extra set of doors um, and that will come with the Fantasy One series which I managed to get this on on the back of a, 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 a late a pledge. There's a lot of doors. There's a lot of, lot of doors to be opening and a lot of places to investigate in the game. So that's it for the main core box. Have you stopped it? one in there. There we go, out of the way. And then, what we have then, that I've already made mention to, is the oh, stretch goals. Now what I loved about this was actually the stretch goals box actually ended up bigger than the, um, the main game box. If you look at the size of this, it's the stretch goal box. And if you compare it then with the size of this as the base game, then you can see actually it ended up with more 
so much content in the stretch goals, which is just phenomenal. Um, my helper has run away. Um, I think she went to get a drink. Okay, in the meantime, I'll carry on opening these up. So we have again, nice contents list, all the stretch goals that are in the expansion. Um, and looks like possibly another storyline in here. Just absolutely loving the graphics in this game. Absolutely superb. And there's an alternative map. So if the other was maybe found to be a bit um, gaudy, a bit too colourful, then there is a dumbed down, a bit more dungeon-esque iteration of the map um, with the notion that um, it's just an alternative, I think, I believe it's a slightly alternative layout as well as about the rooms, um, although I have not checked into that level of detail as of yet, um, but I believe that is the case. And again, we've got arts and lots more cards, some more tokens, um, some more dividers. We have a coloured set of rune dice. My helper has returned. Hello. Uh, so we have a colourful set of rune dice, look, so they're just like the other ones, mm. except these guys have got colours on to make it a bit, so you can see the fire is red, and the earth is kind of orangey brown, the water's blue, mm. so you've got different colours, and this one is a hero, and his transformed form, so this is, um, I believe, a hero that uh, another game creator uh, helped on creating uh, so I look forward to getting that to the table as well uh, finding out more about that one and then we have more minis more boxes as well more boxes yeah what Ooh. is this though? what is it? it's a cage a cage can I actually open it up? yeah you can actually open it up and you can actually put a creature inside when you trap a creature in the cage and yeah, use that a, item. Need a yeah. yeah, so if you grab one of those baddies there, put him on the base. Put him on the base. That's it. Put him in. Trap. And then you can trap, trap. him. Oh! Trap him inside. Yeah. You're trapped. How cool is that? Yeah. And then he's inside. And then obviously, if he gets to escape, then you get him out. Well, that's really cool. I really like that. I thought it was very, very clever. Not seen anything like that before, that level of interaction with items. I believe these were alternative altars. So you've already seen one altar. These are other altars included. That looks like cool. a big tower. A big tower, yeah. What's that one look like? Yeah. Can I get it out? There you go. What's that look like? Mountain of gold and treasure. Mountain of gold and treasure. I think it's actually a garbage heap. Oh. oh. <laughs> but it does look a bit like a mountain of gold and treasure. What's that one? Cauldron. A cauldron, yeah. Wolf. Wolf, wolf, yeah. I think this one's actually a cat, some kind of a cat, like oh. a lynx. And if you notice, what wolf colour is it? Blue. It's light blue, which means it belongs to a... I <laughs> one of the good guys belongs to one of the oh, good yeah. guys so you get one of these guys one of these people here um i believe it's this one um actually has this links that you can play with so when you play with that character you also get that character to move around on the board as well which is really cool um here's the alternate scope i think for one of the characters of the werewolf so he transforms and you've got lots of other bad guys and that's a Black wolf, I think there. Look at that. It looks like a head poking out the back. Yeah, it does look like the head poking mm. out the back, doesn't it? Look. Brilliant. What about this one? Look. Oh, it looks like a flame baddie. A flame baddie. That's right. It's on fire. Cool. So there's those. And then, in addition to those. There is more. Oh, another set underneath. Oh my days, another set underneath. Right. So Those are these, just baddies. These are all but just baddies, baddies, wolf baddies. 
But again, I, I just love the detail on these. These are absolutely superb. This reminds me of Maleficent. Reminds me of Maleficent. It reminds you of Maleficent, which runs yeah. out on. Oh, yeah, that with like the there? horns. Yeah, the yeah. stuff. Stuff. <laughs> Very good. I think these are the crowl. Look at that one. And then we have oof, underneath this box oof, with all the cards that way some. We have another box. And this one, haha, this one contains, remember I showed you there were some tokens for traps. Mm -hmm. This actually turns them into miniatures. So these are the spike traps, look. That's got Is spike that actually traps. spiky? It's a little bit spiky. What are these ones, look? These are quite great big blocks. <laughs> Box. Don't know. I don't know what they are. <laughs> I'll find out later on, I guess. Uh, looks like possibly some more crow. Looks like a flaming tower. Yeah, flame traps, I think. They're pretty impressive stuff. What else have we got? These ones? Oh, that's the These, are, these ones look like skeletons, look. Yeah, and that's a skeleton flag. Skeleton oh, yeah, flag, yeah. That looks like a skeleton flex. What's that? And bear traps, goodies. Goodies. These aren't actually goodies. These are actually baddies, but they made a mistake when they did the printing. And these should be the same colour as these ones. But that's fine. Once I painted them all, it won't make a difference anyway. Yeah. Lots of traps. That's lots and lots. And lots of content. What if we got mixed up with the goodies and baddies? No, I think we'll be fine. What was your first impressions? What do you think? There's a lot of stuff in there, isn't there? I it? like it. You like it? Long. Looks like a it looks game. like a long yeah. game. Yeah, I think I think the main game that you play on the big board is quite long, but that was the advantage of getting something like the Ruins of Arkansas. How many boxes have we shown them? Uh, so we showed them those two boxes. Oh, uh, we've got two more boxes. A mini box and then a big box. A mini box. So this mini okay, box, box was the first four. Don't open it now. I can't. You got it? Ready to do it? Yeah, open it here, right? Yep. Yeah. Up here, look. <laughs> got like a tab. That opens up like that. And this was a lot of work. It was interesting listening to the guys being interviewed. And they said there's a lot of work for... Um, for this small box of, of goods. So again, we've got some more dividers, got some more cards, and these are the original heroes of Eridica. Look at this one, look. What's he carrying? Ukulele. <laughs> Ukulele, a little guitar or something, isn't it? Mm, yeah. That's pretty cool, that one. Got one it's like a crossbow, it's, isn't it? Yeah. That one's like a trident. He's got great big swords, oh. he's like the original heroes of the game. Yeah, it's a ukulele. Yeah. And then again, lots and lots of cards for all the different heroes. You showed them the tokens. And lots of new tokens. Yep, yeah, you can show them the tokens. Um, there's some music tokens some here. Music tokens, yeah. And some bearings. Let's see how they pop out. Yeah. They're nice and easy to pop out? Yeah. Excellent. That's what I like to see. You've got like... Uh, the first four hero pack. Yeah. Instructions. Loads of easy instructions on the back. Yeah, and again, it gives you all your contents. So you can make sure everything's there. More music tokens and what are these? I don't know. Some other sim some other symbols and tokens, isn't there? Looks like an eye. An eye. Yes, the mystic eye. Very good. And the same on the back. Excellent. So we've got those, and then so they're different characters that you can play. Um, and then this is the last box. This is the Ruins of Ark and Star like expansion. So in this box, what I like about this one is you get a story guide, so you can actually play through a full campaign in a story. You get some alternative rules, obviously incorporating the story aspect into the gameplay. Uh, you and get then you three get different maps. 
Ah, and then flip them over. Four different maps. Four different maps, that's right. So these are encounters. So the idea is this, this is a much shorter way to play the game. So you can play on this map and there'll be a certain thing that you need to achieve. It'll be different for different scenarios, different maps. Um, but it'll take about an hour to play this game. About 45 minutes to an hour to play on this map. On these maps. That's kind of the idea. Yeah? So they're a lot easier to play. No, there's nothing else under there. Okay. And you take that out. No. And but we do get some more stuff in here. We can't open these. Look, what does it say on that box? Box one. Do not open until instructed. So we are not going to look in those two boxes. What about that? This, you can take this out. It's yeah. just uh, some, say just, it's some dividers. Again, absolutely loving that Why, why is it such a big box for just instructions to maps? I think because we needed to include those in there. And I think the idea is you can then also help you to divide up um, the goods amongst the other boxes as well. Mm. Mm. I really those. want to open this. Oh. And we've got some more bad guys. Some more. Some. What do you think those are? Coffin. What do you think these guys are? Ice goodies. Oh, ice goodies. Oh, I think they got, might be some ghostly baddies. Got two axes on. Yeah. I think they might be some ghostly baddies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we've got a coffin here. I wonder who would use a coffin. Maybe a vampire of some sort. Yeah. What are these? Another baddie. So I don't know anything about the story stuff. I haven't looked at those. I have watched the Saddlers play um, a game through of um, one of the encounter boards. These are really good, nice, thick quality boards. Same as the punch tokens uh, in terms of the quality, which is great. These are like weird goblins holding like weird the goblins. Mat. Mm. Or a microphone the wrong way round. Or a microphone the wrong way round. You think they're trying to sing to you? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. And that's it. That's everything that came. So that's pretty awesome. So I'm Including really looking forward to digging into these, seeing what I can get into in terms of the cards and the gameplay. Uh, I've read the rules a couple of times through. And okay. look forward to getting this to the table. Maybe with this one here. Okay. Yes. <laughs> That's great. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the flip side.